Oh, howdy all. Grab yourselves a beer. It is time for some Path of Exile discussion. And today I want to talk about a private league that I will be running next weekend, which is going to be paired with a race. So the private leagues, if you've never been involved with them, are a way to play Path of Exile with additional rule sets that make the game a little bit harder and that isolate you from the main economy of a league or of the, of the standard league if you're connected to the standard league. And I'm going to be putting up a couple of little prizes, which will be these Latukan meme t-shirts. So the private league in question is, a, uh, is going to be called Latukan Race Will Arrive. And the idea of it is that it is a race to 125 Atlas bonus with a number of mods that make the league more difficult than they would otherwise be. It's parented to the Legion solo self-found softcore league. So there'll be the usual death penalty, no grouping and no trading. But because it's a private league, anything that you happen to already own in the Legion solo self-found softcore mode, you will not be able to use in this league. You'll need to make a, start, a fresh start just like when Legion League started. I've gone for additional difficulty without crazy one shots. So this is to make the league more challenging without making it feel ridiculous or unfair. So to go through the mods that are applicable, Increased Monster Life 2 adds 40% more life to monsters. Uh, so this just makes every enemy in the game more durable, uh, from the weakest white monster up to the tankiest and most ridiculous bosses. Increased Monster Speed 2 gives every enemy that you fight Onslaught. Uh, onslaught obviously is something that makes them much more dangerous, but tries to do so in a way that's fairly fair. If the monster's hitting you for 3000 damage, you're still taking 3,000 a hit. You're not in danger of being one-shot if your health is, say, 4,500 effective health against their attack. Uh, but it will be more difficult, more challenging to dodge their attacks, and you'll need to react faster than normal. Additional multiple uh, monster projectiles. This is a really dangerous mod, uh, and it causes all monsters in the game to gain the benefits of lesser multiple projectiles without the drawbacks. Uh, much like the fairly difficult map mod that becomes available, I believe in yellow and red maps, uh, and maybe red maps only, uh, that causes all monsters to fire additional projectiles. This is unpredictable and dangerous, and makes dodging monster attacks more difficult than it normally is. Generally speaking, it's pretty manageable until you get to a couple of specific bosses, and I'll let you figure out which ones they are uh, yourself, but there will be a number of bosses that are much harder than usual. Next up we have two that affect item progression tremendously. First up, reduced player resistances two. You're going to be starting with minus 40 to all resists, and this will maintain so, uh, as you go through the penalties that you get after killing Katava in Act 5, and then after killing Katava in Act 10. So Katava's Cruel Affliction and Katava's Merciless Affliction. So when you get to Endgame, instead of needing 135 points of each resistance, uh, in order to cap your resist as you normally do, you'll need 175. The idea here is that it means you'll need to spend more time improving your gear as you're leveling. Uh, and you will need to do so, you'll need to transfer, transfer items more often, um, and you won't be able to sort of stick with the same gear set for as long. Additionally, it means that it will be harder at endgame to use a lot of popular unique items. A tabula rasa, for instance, is an excellent chest, except it has absolutely no resistances on it. And this means that tabula is much more difficult to use when the alternative would be using a four link chest that has both life and two good resists on it, which is something else you might have. The last mod that's present is that no magic or rare items drop. So basically every item that drops is hit by a scouring orb before it drops. Uh, this absolutely transforms the nature of gearing up, as you'll need to carefully manage your transmutations, your augmentations, your regals, your alchemy orbs, and particularly your essences. You will be using essences a lot more than usual in this league. I've played a league with this before and it was a lot of fun. Uh, however, I have also left out a number of the other uh, league mods that I just haven't found fun in the past. So I haven't included the one-shot mods, uh, although I, an argument can be made that reduced player resistances to is a bit of a one-shot mod. It's one you can mitigate through gearing. There are mods available in private leagues that add 15 or even 30% of phys monster physical damage as added all three elements. So, for instance, if a monster hits you for 100 physical damage 
uh, it changes it so that you hit for 100 physical, plus 30 cold, plus 30 lightning, plus 30 fire. Uh, there's also one that increases monster damage by 20%. I find that both of these lead to too many one-shots on bosses and cause players to have to stay and farm and over-level certain bosses too much in order to beat them. And so I haven't gone with those. And so this league doesn't really have those one-shot mods. It also doesn't have the no vendor mod, the no stash mod, or the famine mod, uh, mostly because I find that they promote unfun play patterns, and so I, didn't f I don't find that they're particularly enjoyable to deal with. So the race is, in, in order to potentially win one of these Alila Toucan meme t-shirts, is going to be to run... The, uh, to run to 125 Atlas bonus in the least slash played time possible. The reason I've gone for th this format, so it's what I term an asynchronous race. A synchronous race is one where everyone starts at the same time and the winner is just the first person to cross the finish line. An asynchronous race is more of a time trial. And the idea here is that no matter what time of day that you start a race, especially one that's going to take a while, uh, getting to 125 Atlas bonus is not a quick objective, uh, even for the very best players in the game. It's going to take them uh, probably at least 12 hours, and that's without the mods that make, them, that make it harder than it normally would be. Uh, what I want to do is have a situation where players can take breaks as they feel like they need to, and they can also... Uh, play at a time of their convenience. So if the league is starting, the league is starting at 7am Australian time on next Saturday, which is 9am New Zealand time, and should be sometime on Friday evening if you're in the United States, uh, maybe even Friday afternoon. Now obviously, a lot of people work shifts and can't make it at that time. Uh, if that's you, then that's fine. Uh, you're more than welcome to start on Monday. Maybe you're, maybe you're someone that works in the in industry like hospitality, where you might be working Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night, and then have all of Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday off. Uh, in that case, you can just uh, start up playing on the Saturday, and oh, sorry, on the Monday when you're free, and you can just go, okay, I'll dedicate a certain amount of time to it Monday, a certain amount Tuesday, and a certain amount Wednesday, and you can do that without being behind other players. And for this reason, though, I'm going to need players to only create one character. Uh, because otherwise you can boost up your second character and sort of cheese the slash played time. So, firstly, if you have no interest in racing uh, and you don't feel you're competitive, you're more than welcome to join the private league and play for your own fun. Uh, that is entirely up to you, and the race is entirely optional. I'm going to be entering the race, but I have no expectation of having any chance of winning. There will, however, be a small number of, of prizes for the following categories, and players can only win one prize. So the first prize is the Hardcore variant. This is the lowest slash played time to get to 125 Atlas bonus without dying even once. The second category is the lowest slash played time to reach 125 Atlas bonus with any number of deaths. However, each death will be deemed to be 15 minutes. So, in other words, if you finish in 16 hours and 3 minutes, and you've had 3 deaths, your time in the race is going to be 16 hours 48. And the separation here is that it's my personal uh, feeling that the hardcore style encourages, encourages more conservative play and also punishes mistakes far more heavily towards the end of the league than it does at the start. Um, my goal here is to try to mitigate that somewhat by having a way that you can play and have your, have your deaths be of equal consequence whenever they occur. I'm open to discussion on whether 15 minutes is the right time. Uh, maybe it should be 30, maybe it should be 45. Uh, if people have strong opinions on this, let me know and I will change. If there's a clear consensus from the community, then I will change it. Um, but for the moment, I'm thinking 15 is a very meaningful penalty, uh, but it's not something that puts you entirely out of, out of contention. The third prize is going to go to one player picked at random amongst everyone that makes it to 80 Atlas bonus or higher. And lastly, there'll be a fourth prize for one player that makes it to level 50 or higher chosen at random from everyone that makes it there. Uh, and so there's a little bit of information in the Path of Exile forum thread, which I will link in the description below. 
And if you've got any further questions or if you want to sign up, uh, just jump into that thread and you'll be able to join. In order to join, uh, just click on this link. They're here the, uh, that I'm highlighting over at the moment in the forum thread and you should have an option to request to join. If you don't, send me a private message to username Sergog on the Path of Exile forums and I will ensure that you're added in. I'll also add a small number of people as moderators so that they can just invite everyone. Lastly, uh, private leagues aren't free to run. Uh, however, what I'm going to be doing is I've put up 110 spots so far uh, and then if that starts to look like it's going to fill, I'm then going to open it up to crowdfunding for additional ones. Uh, I will cover the additional costs if needed, but um, my suggestion is join for free unless you're, uh, you know, unless you're flush with cash. And in that case, then you know, contribute either five or five or ten dollars worth of store points as your circumstances permit. In any case, if you've got any questions, uh, let me know below. And if you're keen to join uh, either competitively or non-competitively, as I say, I'm going to be playing, but I'm not going to be competitive, uh, then post below. Lastly, if you're someone that is a streamer and you want me to shout out your stream so that players that are, um, you know, that are not participating in the race themselves but want to watch the Path of Exile uh, community's best uh, going for it, then definitely let me know and I will post a list of everyone that's streaming uh, this race or their, uh, you know, at least part of this race uh, and I'll put that in the forum thread so that people can have a look at it themselves. Anyways, that's all I got on this. If you've got any questions, fire away below.